SpaceX just broke physics. They turned Pad A into a water park while testing one tiny engine. But that's not the crazy part. The real shock? This impossible test just solved Starship's biggest problem. Everyone said it couldn't be done. Engineers called it suicide. But SpaceX proved them all wrong in six seconds. Here's the secret that will change space forever and why China is now panicking about space lasers. Let's dive right in. The moment that broke physics. Here's what nobody saw coming. When those launch mount vents started releasing clouds of vapor on July 31st, this wasn't just another routine test. SpaceX was about to attempt something so insane that NASA engineers are still scratching their heads trying to figure out how it didn't end in catastrophe. Picture this. Pad A was engineered to handle the apocalyptic fury of 33 Raptor engines, producing 16.7 million pounds of thrust. That's enough force to launch a 5,000-ton skyscraper into orbit, and SpaceX decided to use this monster facility to test one engine, one single Raptor producing just 520,000 pounds of thrust. It's like using a nuclear power plant to charge your phone. Completely insane. But here's where it gets absolutely mind-blowing. It worked perfectly. But why would SpaceX risk everything on such a dangerous gamble? The answer lies in something far more sinister than just rocket testing. While SpaceX was conducting this impossible test, Chinese military submarines were patrolling the Pacific, armed with space-targeting lasers specifically designed to destroy Starlink satellites. That's not science fiction. That's happening right now. Chinese defense researchers have published dozens of studies exploring how to neutralize what they call the greatest threat to national security since nuclear weapons. They're not just talking about internet satellites. They recognize something most people are missing. SpaceX just proved they can perform precision orbital maneuvers that could revolutionize space warfare forever. Let me break down exactly how impossible this test really was. When liquid methane at minus 295 degrees Fahrenheit meets metal pipes at 70 degrees, you're looking at a temperature shock of over 360 degrees in seconds. That should crack steel like glass hitting concrete. But SpaceX had a secret weapon. Their propellant lines are designed with thermal expansion joints that can handle these extreme temperature swings. It's technology so advanced that Boeing engineers thought it was impossible until they saw the footage. Then came the real shocker. Instead of using the deluge system conservatively, SpaceX unleashed the full Niagara Falls experience. Water poured from those nozzles at a rate of 350,000 gallons per minute, enough to fill an Olympic swimming pool in less than five minutes. The result? That single Raptor engine looked like a birthday candle in the middle of a hurricane, but it burned flawlessly for six seconds, proving something that changes everything we know about rocket testing. Here's the part SpaceX doesn't want you to focus on. This test almost went catastrophically wrong. In the final two seconds of that burn, temperature sensors detected readings that were so off nominal that the flight computer nearly triggered an emergency shutdown. What caused it? The water deluge system created so much steam that it temporarily blocked exhaust flow from the engine. For a brief moment, that Raptor was essentially trying to breathe underwater. Any other engine would have exploded instantly. But Raptor 3 technology saved the day. Its new cooling channels and integrated heat management system prevented what should have been a spectacular fireball. This is technology so advanced that Russia and China combined don't have anything close to it. Now here's where the story takes a turn that nobody expected. This wasn't just about testing engines. SpaceX was proving they could deploy and control Starlink satellites with surgical precision, even in the most hostile environments imaginable. Remember those dummy Starlinks they're planning to deploy on Flight 10? They're not just communication satellites. These new Starlink variants can detect and track hypersonic missiles, coordinate missile defense systems, and provide real-time battlefield intelligence anywhere on Earth. China's submarine laser program isn't just about taking down Internet satellites. They're trying to prevent the United States from deploying a space-based defense network that could neutralize their entire military strategy in the Pacific. And SpaceX just proved they can make it happen faster than anyone thought possible. But the real game changer is what's coming next. Raptor 3 engines aren't just more powerful. They're a completely different category of technology. With 280 tons of thrust each, 
They're 50% more powerful than anything that's ever flown. Here's the kicker. SpaceX eliminated over 1,000 individual components from each engine. They literally made it more powerful by making it simpler. It's like going from a 1990s computer to an iPhone, except this iPhone can lift a skyscraper into space. Tori Bruno, CEO of United Launch Alliance, saw the first photos of Raptor 3 and accused SpaceX of faking them. He couldn't believe an engine that powerful could look so sleek and simple. When he realized it was real, he reportedly told his engineering team they were at least a decade behind. Which brings us to the moment of truth. Flight 10. This isn't just another test flight. It's SpaceX betting everything on technology that's so advanced. Most engineers don't believe it's possible. Ship 37 will attempt to deploy Starlink simulators while performing precision orbital maneuvers that were impossible just six months ago. If it succeeds, we're looking at a new era where SpaceX can deploy, maintain, and expand a global satellite network faster than any nation can develop countermeasures. But here's what's keeping SpaceX engineers awake at night. What if China's laser submarines are already in position? What if Flight 10 becomes the first battle in a new kind of space war? The fact that SpaceX needed to prove their engines could work in such extreme conditions suggests they might be preparing for scenarios that go far beyond peaceful space exploration. Flight 10 launches in mid-August with more riding on it than any rocket in history. Success means SpaceX proves their impossible technology works. Failure means China's space laser program starts looking less like paranoia and more like strategic necessity. But here's the twist nobody saw coming. What if SpaceX's impossible Pad A test wasn't about proving they could do precision burns in space? What if it was about proving they could defend their spacecraft against directed energy weapons? Those cooling channels in Raptor 3 aren't just for heat management during normal operations. They're designed to dissipate the kind of energy that would come from, well, let's just say they're built to handle more than just rocket exhaust. The countdown to Flight 10 isn't just about reaching orbit. It's about determining whether humanity's expansion into space will be peaceful cooperation or the beginning of the first interplanetary arms race. And China's watching every second of it through submarine periscopes. Finger on the laser trigger. So here we are. SpaceX just proved that the impossible is just another Tuesday at Starbase. They turned a launch pad into a physics experiment, broke every rule in the rocket testing playbook, and somehow made it look routine. But this isn't really about rockets, is it? This is about what happens when human ingenuity meets the ultimate frontier. While China develops space lasers and the world watches nervously, SpaceX is quietly building the infrastructure that could make us a truly interplanetary species. That six-second burn at Pad A wasn't just testing an engine. It was testing our future. Every precision maneuver, Every impossible feat of engineering, every crazy idea that somehow works, it's all building towards something bigger than any of us can fully comprehend. The race to space isn't just about who gets there first anymore. It's about who controls what happens when we arrive. And right now, SpaceX is writing the rulebook faster than anyone else can read it. Here's what I want you to think about. We're living through the most important technological revolution in human history, and most people don't even realize it's happening. Every SpaceX test, every Starlink deployment, every impossible catch by those mechanical chopsticks, it's all connected to a future that's arriving faster than we thought possible. What do you think? Is SpaceX really just pushing the boundaries of space exploration, or are we witnessing the opening moves of something much bigger? Drop your thoughts below, because this conversation is just getting started. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve on the technologies that are reshaping our world, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. The future is being built right now. The question is, are you ready to be part of it?